When deciding how to design and write your Lambda functions, there are a few best practices you can follow. These practices are common to all Lambda runtimes. The first is to separate the business logic, which is the code you're writing to do your business process from the actual handler method. This can make it easier to run unit tests against your code without having to think about the Lambda-specific function configuration. It also makes your code more portable as you can move your business logic code to other platforms. It also helps to make your functions modular and single-purpose if you can. Instead of having a single function that does a whole bunch of things, rather have multiple functions that each do a single thing. If you have a single image processing function that changes the format, creates a thumbnail and adds it to a database, think about having three different functions that do each process. This also improves performance as you don't have to load extra code you don't need and can improve security as each function can be scoped down to only what it needs to do. Try to minimize your deployment package size and reduce the number of dependencies. This can improve startup performance and reduce cost. Instead of loading the whole AWS SDK example, if you just need to connect to DynamoDB, include that specific package instead of everything and use modular SDKs like the AWS SDK for JavaScript version 3 rather than version 2. Some languages provide additional options. With TypeScript, you can bundle and tree shake your dependencies. With Java, you can use simpler dependency injection frameworks such as Dagger or Juice over more complex ones such as Spring Framework. Some languages also support ahead-of-time compilation. Lambda functions only run in response to an event and only continue running when there is work to do. Lambda scales up the number of execution environments to handle additional load. You should therefore treat each function as stateless. Avoid saving stateful information within the execution environment unless you specifically write your functions to take advantage of execution environment reuse for warm starts. You can store stateful data outside of the Lambda function execution environment. This can be in an external database, such as DynamoDB for single millisecond latency and high scale, or any other database option. You can store data in S3 for data that doesn't change as often, and you don't need high throughput. You could also store file data in EFS or in a cache such as Amazon Elastic Cache.